guys welcome back again to my channel this is Stella secret place saying welcome to every one of you in today's video I'm going to show you guys how I'm going to make my peppered steak so these are the ingredients that I'm going to use I'm going to use the red bell pepper the green one uh, onion and the scotch bonnet pepper so this is the the steak that I'm going to use I have seasoned it over the night with uh, soy sauce and um, salt and um, I washed it with uh, apple cider vinegar so this is the steak that I'm going to be using in addition um, with my um, seasoning powders and so on so let's go ahead and start up with the cooking so i'm going to go ahead and start um, dicing the meat cut it to your own size i'm not going to make it to be that um, little I will cut it to a medium size. It was already seasoned with uh, soy sauce. I'll go ahead and be dicing to my size. Now the beef is diced to the size that I want it and um, I don't need to season it anymore because I had already soaked it overnight with uh, some seasoning so everything has seeped inside. I will now go ahead and dice my bell pepper and the rest of the ingredients. Now I'm dicing the onion. I'm not going to make it to be that small. I want it to come out to be a medium size so that when it is fried, it's not going to shrink. I want to eat it as it is. So this size is okay for me. So now all my spices are being diced, the onion, the bell pepper, and um, the scotch bonnets. Just a little bit. I'm going to add a little bit of salt. Just a little bit of salt because the meat is already seasoned. I will allow my vegetable oil to heat up a little bit. So now I have to start putting in the meat and allow it to, to fry. On the other side, so that that side will be cooking, so that that side will fry. This is a raw meal, the cooking to the level that you want it to be. I like my meat cooked. This everything on the other side and 
a light skin. So keep trying. Now you can see the salt, the soy salt is dripping out into the um into the oil. As soon as you are sure that the, your meat is filled, this is the time you now start frying. The color you are seeing there is uh, from the soy sauce. Because I set it to the mind with the soy sauce. So, once you are sure that your meat is well cooked, it depends on how you want it. Either medium, medium cooked, well done, or like a little bit. I like mine to be well done. So it's cooked. I'm going to bring it out and do the same thing with the one that I have not fried. Do it your own way. Okay guys, if you like to follow my recipe, feel free to follow my recipe. Now I'm going to put the other set. And I will do the same thing by allowing one part of it to cook first or to fry first, then I will not flip it over. So take your time to, to lay it out very well. Let it be flat. Lay everything out very well. On a low heat. Once it's well cooked, you flip the other side. So I'm going to give it time, like five minutes for one side to cook, and I'll flip it around. So guys, you see how the soy sauce and the meat is dripping out. So this is what um, the meat is going to use to cook into the meat. And when you are eating it, the juice is going to be coming out because everything will seep into it. So I have to allow it to to cook very well before I can flip it. Like I will make sure it cooks at the back before I can flip it. So I'm still going to give it a little bit of time because as it's cooking, I'm sure it's getting inside. So by the time I flip it around, the other part will be well cooked. So now let's flip it on the other side. Flip the meat on the other side so that the other side will be cooked. You see the blood coming out? I don't like mine like that. I like my meat to be well cooked. Some do like it like that. If that is the way you like it, you do it that way. I like my meat well cooked. If you like it at the medium cook, it's okay. So you have to flip everything on the other side so that the back side will cook as well. I don't want to see blood dripping in my meat. So I'm going to give this side um, another five minutes so that it will be well cooked. After five minutes, that is when I will step right it. Before I will not fry my meat. Now it's ready. So I'm going to step fry it for a while.
so now I'm going to use this to fry my onion and coke. Because I want the juice from the from the meat to get into the sauce. So there's no need of washing the pan. Those are all going in one place. I'm going to try this a little bit. It's not going to be overcooked. Because this is what you're going to use to feed the meat. I like crunchy. I'm adding a little bit of salt. And also a little bit of uh, chicken bouillon. Then stir everything together. Now my meat is added into the sauce. Oh, the aroma coming out for me, please. Unspeakable. If you don't allow your your veggies to be overcooked, the bell pepper, onion, if you don't allow it to be overcooked and you're eating it, you see how crunchy it's gonna be. So is ready and uh, I need to take a bite. I need to take a bite with the best pepper. Mmm. Oh my. Mmm. Very crunchy. This is good. So, it is ready. I just want to say thank you to all of you that has come along with me watching my video. I do appreciate. Please, please, please feel free to like, share, and subscribe to my channel. Over here, we do wonderful things, wonderful cooking, vlogging, and all. Okay, guys, thank you so much. Till I see you in my next video, and have a happy, blessed day.